morning, K Nation. Welcome to the morning announcements for Friday, September 2nd, produced by the iNews. I'm Alexis Goodwin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and pause for a moment of silence. Now to Mr. Sprinkle with our students of the week in Hurricane Hero. Good morning, Alma Bright. Welcome to a fantastic Friday here at the Best High School, Bobo County Public School System. Uh, just a couple reminders about today's pep rally, guys. Make sure that you're sitting with your grade level. Uh, try to go straight to, not try to, make sure you're going straight from your class, straight to the gym, and then when you're dismissed, you will be reporting back to REACH. Do not bring any book bags to the gym, guys. Leave your book bags in your class. Tonight, guys, I'm challenging you to show up. We went to Holtville last uh, week and played their football team. And, man, did they have a great uh, student section. In fact, it, they almost had an uh, impact on the game, but they were so loud and, and kind of rowdy. Um, I would love to see our students out here tonight, and I'm encouraging you to show up, the whiteout theme. I see a lot of you have dressed up, and uh, thank you for showing school spirit. Uh, if you come to the student section tonight, you will get free hot dog and a free bag of chips. So uh, trying to encourage you to come out and support our football team, band, cheer, and dance. All right, for Hurricane Students of the Week, we're going to start off with our ninth graders, Jalen Lumpkin. Congratulations to Jalen Lumpkin, ninth grade student of the week. Uh, sophomore student of the week is James McNeil. Uh, congratulations to James McNeil. Uh, junior student of the week is Kaylin Smith. Uh, that's Kaylin Smith. And last but certainly not least, our senior student of the week is Mackenzie Henry. Congratulations to Mackenzie Henry uh, and all of our students of the week. We thank you for your commitment to excellence here at Alma Bryant. Our Hurricane Hero of the Week uh, this week is Miss Cahey. Uh, Ms. Cahey has, has developed a few things for our students to support their uh, social and emotional needs here on our campus. Uh, she also leads our PST team, and she's doing great things this year. So thank you for your uh, commitment to our students. Let's have a fantastic Friday here at Alvin Bryant, where excellence is the expectation. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle, and good morning, Hurricanes. We now have your attention for more announcements. 10th graders, you will be taking the pre-ACT October 11th. We need 100% participation for this test. So let's, let's make sure everyone is here on test day. Alabama Coastal Cleanup is Saturday, September 17th from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. We'll meet at Ralston Park, dress for possible weather and bring water. If you need service hours or just want to help, please see Ms. Johnson in GA or Ms. Odom in A4 for more information. There will be a mandatory musical theater meeting Wednesday, September 7th in H6. This meeting is for all students that will participate in the musical. See Ms. Silva if you have a conflict. Now to breathe with our sports. Thank you, Alexis. The Hurricanes face the Daphne Trojans tonight at 7. We need the student section full for the game. Make sure to wear your white for a whiteout theme. This week, our sports reporter Julie Grace was able to talk to Coach Sessions and a few players about this week's game against Daphne. Hey, Canaries, this is Julie Graves reporting to you live. This week, we were able to go out and talk to head coach Sessions, wide receiver Dee Dee Lambert, and Optimus Club Player of the Week, Fisher Fountain. <laughs> hey, Canaries, I'm here with co head coach Sessions. Coach Sessions, coming off of a big win last week, what can you tell me that you and your team did to prepare for the win, and what are we doing to prepare for the game next week against Daphne? You know, I, I tell you, I'm so proud of our guys. Obviously, there was a, a lot of chaos surrounding having to move the game, and. Uh, you know, we didn't play our best football, I think, but we still won without playing our best. And you're always proud of, as a coach when you can get a win and not play your best. Um, you know, guys that came out with great energy this week, we understand the significance of the game. It's a huge region game. Um, so, you know, finally that, that big orange thing appeared in the sky. So that's, that's exciting as well that we get to actually practice outside without it flooding on us. Yes, sir. And how do you think that the team's energy is different this week than last week going into a big region game? You know, it, it certainly it, it's you had to step your game up, you know, with, with region opponents. And, and we respect Daphne and understand what type of program we're up against. So, uh, you know, our, our guys know that. I, I think the difference uh, a year makes is, is last year, I think we feared Daphne. Um, you know, and again, we do have a healthy respect for them. They're a great program. But, but our guys this year have the mindset that, uh, 
that we can go win the football game. And that's been fun to, to be around this week at practice. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations on the win last week. And we'll hope to see everyone here at the eye this week to come watch the Canes. Hey, Canes, this is Julie Graves reporting to you live. And I'm here with wide receiver Dee Dee Lambert. Dee Dee, you had a great game last week against Holville. What can you say that you did to help prepare yourself for the game? Man, I was just trying to practice how I play. And that's about it for real. <laughs> And going into the game this week against Daphne, what can you say that you and your team are doing to prepare, not only uh, physically, but mentally as well? Uh, we got a game plan. I guess we're just going to try to stick to the game plan. All right, thank you, Didi. Good luck. You're welcome. Hey, Canes, I'm here with Crichton Optimist Club Offensive Lineman of the Week, Fisher Fountain. Fisher, what can you tell me about how you feel about accepting this award and getting nominated for this award? Uh, it feels good. It's like, it's definitely unexpected. Didn't know I really played that good of a game. Uh, I'm more proud of myself than anything. Uh, but I also got to thank Chris Moe, the quarterback, and I got to thank the boys up front because they really helped me out get this award. And, yeah. And um, how do you feel you and your team are preparing to go into the game this week against the Daphne Trojans? Uh, I feel good. I feel like we can come out on top with a, uh, with a win. Especially if we just stay focused, stay locked in, because they're a very beautiful team. I think we got this. All right, thank you, Fisher, and good luck. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. This week, our Hurricanes take on the Daphne Trojans here at the Eye. Be sure to come out and dress out in all white. And as always, go Canes. Thank you, Julie, and congratulations to Fisher Fountain for being selected the Optimus Club Lineman of the Week for his performance against Holtville. Congratulations to our JV volleyball team when they win over Resurrection yesterday. Great win for our girls and coaches. We would like to give a big happy birthday to Coach Hyatt from her husband, Coach Hyatt, and her players. We are lucky to have you here at Alma Bryant. Calling all Lunchadors. Coach Steiner is looking for anyone that is interested in joining the first ever Alma Bryant wrestling team. Flyers are posted around the school. Scan the QR code and fill out the interest survey. Our cross-country team will be competing at the Challenge of Champions cross-country meet this Saturday at Municipal Park in Mobile. Good luck to these runners. Now back to Alexis with more news. Thank you, Reese. Hayes lunches pizza, peas, carrots, cookies, french bread, salad, fruit juice, and milk. Also, students, we now have three lines for serving lunch. Hopefully this will make the lines run faster. Remember to also have out your ID or student number ready. Kona Ice will be on campus today during lunch waves. 30% of sales go back to the school, so make sure you bring your money. Applications for National Honor Society have been given to REACH teachers of qualifying juniors. Application packets need to be filled out and returned to either Ms. Long in room B9 or Ms. Stewart in room B8. No later than September 9th. If you do not receive an application packet and you feel like you should have, please see Ms. Long in B9. This concludes our morning announcements for Friday, September 2nd. We thank you for tuning in to the iNews and we'll see you again next week for more morning news. And remember, it's a great day to be a hurricane.